Okay, so on this one, we're going to look at the mesh extras uh, from our system road network that we've built. So far, we're going to kind of add some some of the columns that are in the system. So in order to do that, we need to look around our um, tabs on the side. <clears throat> and we have this mesh extra tab. And it's literally as simple as um, adding one of the, one of the uh, extras and kind of allowing it, enabling it. So first of all, um, you would have to click this mesh extra enable tick box, um, which obviously doesn't do anything because we haven't added one. So we have this array element option here, which is the little plus symbol. If we click that, excuse me, I'm going to burp. <sighs> Pardon me. So if we click that, we get this little uh, um, index option, or a little graphical glitch then. Um, maybe you didn't see it, but I did. Um, we have this uh, array element. That's what it was. Sorry, okay. I thought it was a glitch, but it's actually a, uh, a little uh, tag. But uh, yeah, so we have this array element, which we can then open up and we have all of these options for that element, which is essentially a mesh um, that is applied to the other mesh, uh, the, the parent mesh, which would be the road, and it kind of applies it based upon a set of values. So at the moment we've got this traffic bollard, um, which has just been placed into the middle which you can see right there. Um, if I was to change the spacing of like 5,000, we get, get a lot less of them. And these meshes have kind of been um, made for the, um, the assets in this system. So, you know, I'd have to take a bit of a deep dive into kind of how they are um, placed and positioned and stuff. But, um, you can kind of mess with that as we start to play with these values. I'm just going to save it, but um, you know you can you can play with these yourself and kind of mess around with it. But let's just do it like a crazy value there, hundred. Okay, so that offsets it from the center um, by hundred. You know, you can see you know what's happening. Yeah, I'm sure you can guess. Uh, kind of what's going on rotation z let's go for 90 degrees pretty hard to see because the thing's probably symmetrical let's go 45 degrees there you go and then we get a 45 degree uh change on the z rotation okay so you can you know you can do that and you can add various you can you can stack these into an array but we don't want this traffic bollard i want to apply some of these um, support columns to the bottom of our bridge or our kind of intersection area or our junctions um, our junction intersection so basically we go to this drop down and we have the option I could even get the actual unreal table which shows you that you can just apply kind of any any mesh you want you know you can just make meshes for it. Just as an example, the original, you know, Unreal Engine table. Um, but yeah, nothing special there. You can even have a statue. Doesn't like that one though. That's probably a material-based error that I'm getting there, but I'm just getting rid of it. Too. I'm just showing you as an example. But what I am going to do is sort of look here. We know that this is SM freeway column support um, so in here I'm just going to put three way which just limits the amount in this list and we can see here we have our columns so I'm going to just choose this one for now it's like okay where the hell is that and under here we have our columns it looks a bit uh, incorrect right now um, so I'm going to increase 
spacing quite drastically to a 2000 <clears throat> to a 2000 unit space between them which gives us a nice chunk of supports um, oops um, I'm gonna just mess around with these and see which ones I prefer I'm kind of liking those a bit better and spacing let's go 5000 we have less of them no no that's not enough Ooh, 3,000. Okay, I'd say that's quite good. These are quite low in the ground, so maybe we would want them to be that deep. Maybe we'd want it to be a bit higher. But maybe not, you know. I'm just going to go with this for now. They're not quite blended very well, but maybe you could start to use some RVT um, stuff to blend them in. Um, you know, that would be up to you completely. What we're going to do is have a look at some of these options. We've got a keep vertical option. We have a problem where they're sticking through the mesh, which is not very nice. So... Um, I'm going to change this to like minus 10, which will get rid of them sticking through. That gives us a offset of minus 10 on the Z axis, which stops that sticking through the top issue. Um, that obviously might not work in all cases, but in this case it does, luckily. So now we have a bridge, a little bit nicer 